I, I firmly believe that the more people know, the more conscious they are of how things work, they're just likely to make better decisions. And one area in which people's decisions have a huge impact is their own personal health and understanding how that works and the impact of their behavior is going to make more people make better decisions of their own volition without being forced or deluded into doing stuff. Genetic information is extremely disrupt. It's like all information. Suddenly you understand how things work and that gives you the ability maybe to change how they work if you're not getting entirely satisfactory results. Maybe you can insert yourself into some process or pathway and get a result where somebody doesn't die early of some disease or you can understand the interaction of somebody's genetic makeup with three different drugs and pick the drug that will be most effective with the fewest side effects, that sort of thing. In the beginning, computers and information were, they were mostly about abstract information. People st typed stuff into the computer and they got answers out. And now, computers are out there in the real world. They are communicating with one another. They're checking our blood pressure. They're not waiting for us to type stuff in. So, in, in the old days, we talked about putting information in the computers, but now, the computers are sensitive to the world around them. They're, they're not off in this intellectual abstract world. They're, they're part of the real world so that I can query the temperature of a swimming pool or a doctor can query the blood pressure of a patient in real time. And so the world becomes information rich rather than putting information into a computer. People weigh themselves, I don't know, once a day, once a week, and they may change their behavior slightly. But if you now, you can test your blood sugar, you can test your visual acuity, you can notice the horrible things that binge last night did to your body because suddenly your, your alcohol measure is X or you, you know something about your liver function. People change their behavior in response to feedback. And a lot of our health problems now are not genetic and they're not diseases the things that you catch. They're the results of people's own behavior. So I don't particularly want the government telling me what to do, but I'd be happy to have a machine remind me that uh, there are things, if I did them better, I might feel better. The machine doesn't control you, but it reminds you to control yourself. The other big thing is still the, the shift in power between the individual and the institution. And if you one area where I find it really interesting, and this does end up being partly about genetics, is we, we have user-generated content, which is music, photos, whatever. We have user-generated metadata, which is all the stuff about what I might want to buy, and marketers find that especially interesting. There's user-generated marketing, which is suddenly consumers, instead of passively receiving messages, are they want to be the carriers of the message. They don't want to be marketed to. They want to tell their friends about, look at me, I'm wearing a logo on my shirt. You know, that sort of, consumers are actually happy to advertise products they like. And so suddenly the, the marketer's challenge is not to just make a good product, but to make an ad or a product good enough that consumers want to advertise it to their friends. And if they can't make a good enough product, the, the problem isn't their marketing, the problem is their product. And that, of course, is, is a wonderful message for user-generated product quality control. Uh, another really interesting area is almost user-generated science, where suddenly people are starting to contribute their DNA, their health records, to the pursuit of better understanding of health, uh, genetic disease, uh, personalized medicine, all this stuff. It's going to come not simply from scientists working in a lab, but from people voluntarily contributing data so that the scientists will have data to work with. I love knowledge, and I think the more we know about everything, the better off we are. We, we face choices. The more you know, the more you're responsible for. One, one really interesting phenomenon in the world now is Barry Schwartz had this wonderful book about the paradox of choice, and a, a, a cheap summary would say, well, people get confused when there's 18 kinds of jam, and they don't pick any jam at all. Uh, but people also get confused when they know about 18 countries where orphans are starving, evil dictators are killing people, and they, instead of 
in the old days, you could find one orphanage in your own town and you could do good for these kids. But now if you know about crime and pestilence and disaster all over the world, you just get overwhelmed and you don't do anything at all. So too much knowledge also requires an ability to filter, to make meaning, to, to feel one can do something useful. Thank you.